part of Cuba tomorrow, I decided to stop by the original Cuban barbershop here on Calle Ocho for a fresh beard lineup. Alright guys, it can get hot out here in the South Florida sun. Right now it's about 91 degrees and it's the middle of the day. So, I got the perfect remedy for you. It's a mojito. It is the drink of Cubanos. And if you're here in Calle Ocho, make sure you stop by Casa Panza, which is right here behind me, for a delicious cold mojito. This guy right here looks like he's having an amazing day. This right here is where they hand roll cigars. This is a, a company that started in Cuba in 1896 by my great-grandfather that immigrated from Spain to Cuba. And we grow our own Cuban seed in uh, places like Dominican Republic and Nicaragua because the soil and the weather is very similar to the one we had back at home. So that's what we do. We produce uh, premium cigars. Alright guys, I couldn't resist. I had to pick up a cigar from Cigar Factory, the original cigar purveyor here on Calle Ocho. I have mojito, now I've got a cigar, and I feel amazing. So for those of you out there that aren't experienced with smoking cigars, this right here is the best part, it's the nub. It's where all the flavor is contained. So if you're familiar with Tupac and his line, the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice, this right here is the dark berry and the sweet juice of el tabaco. And right here is some lechon. Lechon. Shredded pork. You gotta say the Cuban accent though. Lechon. 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 Take here, Babito. Papito. Fave. In Miami. In Miami. Yeah. In Miami. Cinco ocho. El calle ocho. This right here is Audrey's first tasting of an authentic pastelito. We're gonna compare it to see if it's like Portos. And we have a colada right here, which is a shot of Cuban espresso. What do you think? It's delicious. Amazing? Amazing. Different from the LA pastelitos? It's very different, but very good. I would say it's close. LA is a little sweeter than this. Maybe it's artificially sweetened. A big part of Cuban culture is the game of dominoes. So make sure when you come out here at Calle Ocho that you check out Domino Plaza because here is where it gets down and dirty. Let's check it out. Late 1800, they made this for the Cuban uh, farmer back in the days. These two pockets are for the cigars, as you can see. Okay, these pockets are for the guava. So, guayabera guava to carry your guava. Check this out. You see the side vents? There they go. You take out the only instrument you, you had, the machete. And if you turn this around, this particular shirt, what you call guayabera, what does it look like? Like a, uh, like a star. You put a star here, you see the stripes? Cuban flag, believe it or not. Ready for Cuba? Ready for Cuba. While Audrey tries on that Guayabera dress, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get one of these sombreritos right here. Now, I wanna know the explanation of the Guayabera. Okay. If you can remember. We've got pockets for tobacco. Yes. We've got pockets for guayabas. Mm -hmm. And we've got some side panel buttons, not for the panza, mm. but for the machete. Yes. And so what's whip it, it out. And what's this in the back? The Cuban flag. We got yeah. the little pico and we got the three stripes. And what province? Oh, I missed that one. I'm Mexican. Santo, I'm Santo Espiritu. Santo Espiritu, where the guayabera, Cuban guayabera originates. Here it is. Here's a full figure model in South Florida, in Little Havana. And they have ladies guayaberas, which is what I have, and you guys will see me wearing it in Cuba. All right, guys, I got my Cuban sombrero. Now I'm gonna go ahead and check out some music over a ball and chain. Mm -hmm. 
this is the real social media amongst Cubans networking over coffee and pastelitos. This right here is a medianoche, which is a famous Cuban sandwich that Audrey is about to go in on. As you guys can see, all we have done on this trip is eat. Oh, that's really good, actually. That's very mm. good. And it has pickles, which I love. Enjoy. I will. All right, Audrey, we had cafecito, pastelitos, medianoche. How would you say that your first time the Calle Ocho went? Uh, 10 pounds heavier than how it started. It's real talk. But worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you in Cuba. Peace. Bye.